Hey guys, so today I have here my JBL Live Music 360 degree speaker and in this video we want to take a look at what is inside of this small speaker. So when we take a look at the outside then we don't see any visible screws or detachable parts here other than the rubber pieces here on the bottom and on the top of the speaker. So there is probably a couple of screws underneath here so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the bottom part here, this rubber piece and we can really quickly see there is a whole bunch of screws under there so I'm going to peel off the entire rubber piece here on the bottom and you can already see those little black holes here and there so that's where the uh, small Phillips screws are inside so I'm going to take in my little screwdriver and I'm going to remove all of those now once all screws are removed then we can detach here this bottom plastic plate so I'm going to use a little prying tool, I'm just using my old pocket knife and we can pry in relatively easy between the fabric and the plastic and then we can detach here this big piece of plastic. So underneath here we find a couple of more screws, so there's four more Phillips screws which we have to remove. And then also we see this little daughter board which has a micro USB port, so this seems to be a surface port and that is connected here with this little ribbon cable. So you see this little switch that I flipped open and then we can uh, remove the ribbon cable so that we don't accidentally tear it apart as we continue to disassemble the speaker. Okay, so next we're going to continue on the top end of the speaker and here we also are going to remove the rubber. And while I'm prying underneath the rubber to detach it, I'm making sure that I'm not prying here by those two holes that you see in the corners. So. Underneath those holes, that's where the microphones are located and there's of course also a PCB, so we don't want to accidentally damage the PCB. Uh, so that's why I'm going to stay away with the prying tool. And then we can also just relatively easily completely remove the rubber from the top end. And here there's a couple more screws, so we find four more screws, also Phillips screws that we're going to remove. And now again here with a little prying tool, we can detach relatively easily Use this little plastic cup. Just remember when removing this plastic piece that it is actually connected with a little harness. So you see this little plug here on the bottom. And we're going to unplug this here carefully. I'm just going to pull on it. Now we can already have a first look at the inside of the speaker. But we're not quite there yet. So first we have to detach the fabric here from the top end of the speaker. The fabric seems to be glued onto the rest of the housing here, of the plastic housing. So I'm relatively easily peeling this off here. I'm just going to work my way around. And then I'm carefully peeling the fabric here down to the halfway point of the speaker. And that's where we see here this seam here between the bottom and the top end of the speaker. So these two parts actually detach. And now with a little bit of wiggling we can remove the bottom part of the speaker. Just be careful not to tear the small ribbon cable that goes all the way to the bottom of the speaker. Okay, so here already we can see now the driver. See this is way all the way on the bottom so it actually plays the music down into the ground. And then on the top end again, there we find four more screws. Again, Phillips screws that we have to now remove in order to detach the top end of the housing. Just remember that when you pull off the top end of the housing that there is another small harness here that goes to those four LEDs that are located at the front of the speaker. So I'm going to carefully unplug this from the motherboard and now we can completely remove the top end of the housing. And now here on top of the motherboard that's where we find a big piece of this black sticky tape. I'm going to peel this off carefully. Now the next thing I noticed are these two small wires that go off to the side here underneath more of this black tape and you see those are the uh, antennas so those are Wi-Fi antennas there's two of them so there's one here on the left side and then there's a second one that is located here under this second piece of black tape so there you see the second Wi-Fi antenna then there's a couple of more wires attached here to the motherboard you see those going down here to the side for one, that's where we have the two buttons for the mute and for Bluetooth. And then underneath, that's where we have the connection to our power. So for now, let's continue to disassemble the speaker. And so the next thing we can do here is remove the motherboard, the main board here. There's four more 
screws here that hold this in place and then underneath we have here a small connector so we have to be careful when removing the motherboard and then also of course here we have the two connections for the antenna so I'm going to first detach those two and now I can carefully start to actually detach the board here and there's more connectors here actually you see uh, pretty close to the speaker connector you see these couple of pins so there's a bunch of pins so there's six pins that are just here open so those go down into the uh, rest of the speaker housing here and so now I'm going to carefully disconnect the speaker now let's have a look at how we get access to the rest of this housing here so there's no more screws that I can see here on this end but we do have here the opposite side that's where we have the speaker the driver itself so there's a couple of screws and we can easily detach here the driver so I'm going to remove the screws and then pull out the speaker and now when we take a look at the inside of the housing here that's where we find another PCB here so that's where the power supply is so this is where the 110 or the 230 volts from your house come into the speaker this, this is where this is being converted and then we have the lower voltage coming out at the top end of the speaker right into the motherboard that's probably where we saw those six pins on the motherboard so that's where the uh, motherboard gets its power from Okay, so the housing of course also has passive radiators so we see here two radiators one on the left side and one on the right side so this means that this part of the housing has to be airtight so there is going to be a seal here right around where the driver sits in and then also on the top end you can see these two rubber seals here so this entire component is what's supposed to be airtight so that the passive radiators can do their job you can see this here first you have the uh, yellow connector for the driver and then here the six pins those go through the second hole here so as soon as you mount the motherboard on the housing then it will be airtight now let us have a closer look at the motherboard itself so there's here this little uh, rubber piece that's glued onto the back side of the board let me peel that off so we can have a closer look there's not a whole lot going on on this end on this side of the board so I'm going to put this right back on but then here on the opposite side on the top end that's where we have all the action so you can actually see here that there is a daughter board attached to it so right on top here you see this so where the Wi-Fi wi antennas are connected to that's actually an additional daughter board so uh, that is here glued on or at least the connector is glued so let me uh, remove some of the glue so that we can then detach it and have a closer look at it so you see here on the one side that's where we have all the connectors see here this whole row and then on the opposite end that's where we have just some spacers here some rubber spacers that make sure that the uh, uh, daughter board is sitting correctly and doesn't move around now some people are asking for a close-up of the board here so let me zoom a little bit uh, so that you can see all the components and all the writing on the board here so in case you're interested just have a close look at this maybe pause the video if you're really interested in certain sections and then next we're going to have a look at the daughter board also see where that is coming from so first let's have a look at the bottom end of the daughter board and you can see here what it says Muse module version 0.3 from March 2019 now let's have a, a look at the top end here so that's where we have the shielding for all the wireless modules here so I'm not going to uh, open those up because there's just a whole bunch of glue on there and I don't really want to accidentally destroy this thing so I'm just going to leave this shut as it is 
Yeah, and this was already it here for the teardown video of the JBL Link Music speaker. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions or comments, then please write a message below. And don't forget to check out my other videos.